What's going on everybody? It's Shameful Penguin here back with another video. Today we're getting into some mid-tier investment strategy that I did for this league and possibly future leagues. Um, I don't see this method going too far down the drain later leagues with some nerfs and stuff. Um, Caesar Atlas really made map sustain and everything really insane and map juice really easy to get. So I think this um, strategy is really great to do constantly and I think it's a really fun strategy. Now you're going to need a pretty good build to do this because we're doing T16 burial chambers and putting some juice into our maps. So you're going to really need some ways to um, kill the mobs. Um, I'm not timing myself. I can kill them pretty fast. I don't have a headhunter right now, but if I, I can buy one easily and I can make uh, the, the currency per hour really insane with that. But we're not doing it per hour. We're just doing per 100 maps. So I ran 100 maps and I'm going to talk about what I put into each map. So first we're going to be looking at this column over here. So these are the expenses of what I put into every single map. So hundred maps, um, all this stuff is pretty much self-sustainable. So you could subtract this total from the total of what you're putting in because you can easily, um, probably already sustaining sextants, alchemies, vault orbs, chisels, and your own maps. But this is assuming that we had to buy each and every single one of them. Um, this is how much the average currency that like the price of when I started this strategy So the prices may differ a little bit um, And then we use three scarabs. Um, we use harbinger scarabs legion and breach um, Breach scare like all these scarabs are really awesome um, There is an additional spot for a fourth scarab that you can put in but um, I already started this strategy before I had that, the additional spot and um, I think I would put in ambush scarab for strong boxes strong boxes are really really strong um, even though uh, Breach is our weakest link, but it is super cheap, so um, it's pretty much free, um, just free currency. But Ambush for our strong boxes are really strong as well. And then lastly, Fortune Favors Brave um, just gives us a lot of extra juice on our maps. Um, and yeah, overall, almost 1500 um, chaos in our 100 maps is our uh, investment into our strategy. And then... Um, you can ignore this stuff. I actually, other than buying it from other people, I was self-sustaining so hard after a few maps, after I ran out of like my initial pool of maps that I had, I kind of just purchased them for myself. So this is what I owe myself. But, uh, so about 300 C and I did add this into the totals and stuff that you'll see. Um, if you look at this column, I didn't really fully fi uh, fill it out. I didn't think it was that important after the fact. But I did keep track of how many random rituals, metamorphs, expeditions, blights, deli or mirrors, and harvests I ran into. And uh, these were the numbers I got. Um, pretty random, honestly, um, depending on what you invest to. Um, on your tree, you could tech maybe like additional chance for deli mirror, additional chance for blight, and you would get a higher percent than me um, if that's what you feel like. But I believe that um, there's a solid structure you should follow for the tree. And then you can uh, deviate off on whatever mechanic that you like. So our main um, thing we're looking into is heart, uh, Legion. So we take all the Legion nodes. As you can see it popping up in the tree. Down here we take all these. Over here we take all these. And then we focus on Mariketh and Templar. Because those are the two most expensive emblems. And lastly we go over here for additional uh, chance to spawn. So the way it works is that the Scarab will spawn one monolith. And then uh, we have an additional chance to spawn a second monolith with all the extra percents we have. And of course, spawning two monoliths is insane. So that's what we're going to want. We will sell this right now for profit. All right. Anyways, so um, the, 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 so we're mostly running Legion. Now, while I was playing this, I did respect this because I started playing a little bit afterwards and I wanted to uh, try other things. Uh, I did have Flash Breach spec while running all these 100 maps. Flash Breach is pretty much necessary if you have any Breach investment. Um, this is the best Breach node. If you had to take one node, it's definitely this node. Um, there's other decent Breach nodes that are pretty close. Uh, this one, this node's kind of okay. Because um, uh, bosses don't spawn all that option uh, uh, often unless you have like all this investment so i guess this is a pretty okay wheel to take because you get a raw breach stone but mostly it's going to be like tool or zoff or something that you don't really want um these nodes are a little far i mean i am coming down here for this 
This node is pretty good. Additional chance to contain a breach is pretty good. But this node is pretty bad because the chance to contain a hand is so low. And then um, you get breach stones of every type. And then the odds of it being like, uh, it, it's just not the greatest. Um, it says can drop breach stones of every type. And it really doesn't. Um, people have tested this in the past. This isn't the best node. So I didn't feel like going for anything else except for just flash breach and then highly invest into, of course, Harbinger because Harbinger is just the greatest thing in the league. Um, I went for essence because sustaining essence is really fun because you can craft your own gear really easily. Uh, sustaining your own uh, an extra uh, sextant use just to make your investments a lot cheaper. And then uh, diff cards because they're just absolutely insane. Uh, you can go with this wheel, but it's a little bit more travel nodes. So I did, and this is the weakest of the, the two to go for. I definitely suggest getting this node and then these two nodes on top of it because it's insanely overpowered. Um, and then um, map sustain is pretty cool, but it's definitely not necessary. Um, if you could retry this tree, you could take off uh, these three nodes, these three nodes, and these three over here and maybe put them into some deli stuff like over here or maybe if you're going with breach you can put it into more breach stuff so those are the changes i would make for this build um lastly we got our eldritch stuff so we got our uh, additional altars and our extra juice for the mobs that spawn because that currency is really really good now um Let's look into our stash tab of what I got. So I got a bunch of tabs of stuff because 100 maps is a lot of maps and it's a lot of drops. Um, I was picking up all the six socket items. So that's why I have so many jewelers orbs. Um, and you can see that we sustain like we over sustain our sextants pretty easily. Um, a lot of chaos, a lot of just miscellaneous uh, small currency. We did get nine exalts, which is over here. And on top of that, uh, we got a lot of exalt shards, two of these exalts. Are from exalt shards purely just because there were so many harbingers on the map exalt shards were dime a dozen uh we got our two doctors pretty lucky i would take that out and then two abandoned wealth which is also pretty cool um they were both from strong boxes both of these were from strong boxes um one doctor was from breach and one was from a monster i killed in strong box it like dropped after or whatever it was it wasn't from the strong box it was from the monster of the strong box so yeah we got some pretty cool stuff going on over here uh this is all their other div cards and whatever and i turned in a bunch of div cards um so i wasn't like changing the price too much on excellence next uh we got a lot of essence because i did invest into essence and i really like it a lot and then i was throwing in some of the corrupted ones we got um into the essence and you can see that insanity and all those these cool essence uh, hysteria um, are worth a little bit so it's good to since you get so many corrupted essence it's good to just throw it back into the essence because uh, corrupted essence are really cheap this league and just use all of them you have honestly that's my uh what i tell you uh, we did get this from turning in div cards so that's pretty cool a lot of stack decks really cool over sustain our maps by far and we also got some conqueror maps some elder maps and a sh few shaper maps and a deli map which is pretty cool um we got a lot of blueprints and or yeah blueprints and a lot of contracts and contracts um certain ones sell i think deception sell really well and i forget the other one that sells so i'm gonna have to like tft some of this stuff later on these were all the raw unique drops that i got um, got like a Cosby's Malice, Arcali's Fang, To Dust, a Barracks Respite, Fractal Thoughts, uh, Quickening uh, Covenant, uh, and Serious Foible, two tabs. Um, nothing, no really good unique drops. These are all like pretty good drops, but nothing like insane. That was like my money maker. Uh, next, we got our Breach Column. So we got a decent amount of breach, but we only got one Chayula. So this isn't the mo this isn't the most money. Um, could be a lot better, maybe if you invested more in the breach. Uh, we got a full simulacrum and 124 splinters. That's really good because we got nine mirrors. Nine mirrors is a lot since we put juice into our maps. There's a lot of extra stuff we got out of it. Um, I did pick up all 20 quality and 19 quality or whatever jewels or gems. I mean, so. Uh, 
I just do that because uh, easy GCP and all that stuff. Um, logbook. I only got one from our expedition. It's about 25C. Pretty cool. And then we got a butt ton of freaking emblems. So that's a lot of additional currency because just emblems are dropping, dropping left and right, honestly. And it's really cool. And last, we got a bunch of scarabs because uh, the new Eldritch stuff with the altars, scarabs are dropping left and right. Um, and then we got a lot of just uh, drops from like random unique drops, uh, invitations that we got. You're guaranteed these from running your maps and just like other drops we got. Like we got two Cortex drops, which is really cool. And uh, yeah, just other miscellaneous stuff. I took out a lot of stuff like fragments and random stuff that wouldn't really sell anyways. I should have taken out these because these don't really sell that well either. Um, I've never tried to sell them. I usually just run them anyways. And uh, these don't really sell, but I do use them because I make a lot of alt characters. So I do end up using these uh, divine vessels. So I could have taken those out as well. But I just wanted to show you what I got out of my maps just as a just to show you guys. So you can look at our excellent next and it says we have like 14,500 chaos made, um, which is really good. This is our um, this is our returns, not our profit. So if you want your profit, you're going to have to take off your investment. Um, this is with the doctor. I didn't take out the doctor. All you have to do is subtract 4,000 C out of my two doctors drops. So you have uh, 10,500. And that's what I did over here. So we're going to look at this part right here. Um, so this is the total I made um, with and without the, the doctors. Um, this is the profit. Um, so this is the uh, uh, taking out the total investment out of both of these. And then this is per map. So this is divided by 100 maps. This is what you can expect per map, um, which is a lot of currency per map if you're thinking about it. Because it, it does look like a, like a lot. We're investing about 15C per map, which is a lot. But uh, keep in mind that a lot of this stuff, we're not actually investing. You can self-sustain it. So you're going to make these numbers even higher. So uh, this strategy was really fun to do. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, let me know if you guys try out this farming strategy and uh, let me know if you guys got any good stuff dropped or if you're liking the strategy, not liking the strategy for whatever reason. And uh, anything you would change on this tree, let me know. Um, I could make more of these videos on different farming strategies. I chose burial chambers just because the chance to get a doctor and it paid off. Um, another good map to be is like cemetery. I really love cemetery. Brother, brother stash and the layout's really good. Um, you can do city square because you can kill the map boss and then farm altars so that's another strategy a lot of people are doing or you can just run your map of choice and probably get some really good currency out of it and uh yeah thanks for watching the video and i'll check you guys on the next one later